Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com is just reading a article here, and it's talking about, well, the article is entitled, The Most Popular Gear Rented in 2017. Now, the interesting thing I found about this is it lists um, all the most popular gear that was rented by rank, like how, how popular it was, how often it went out. So number one would be the one that got rented the most, and then so on down the list. This is based on, I believe it was Lens Rentals. Yep, Lens Rentals, who is a great place to rent gear from if you want to... Uh, test gear if you're looking at buying something or if you need it for a job uh, and they, they rent a lot of stuff so they're able to come up with some statistics it's quite interesting so uh, it goes from the Canon 24 to 72.8 Al version 2 lens is the number one rented piece of gear all the way down to in the 20th position here he's got 1 to 20 the Canon 16 to 35 f2.8 Al now one of the interesting things that I found here is not necessarily what was the number one but when we look at the top 10, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Actually, we can go all the way down to the top 15 before we even see a Nikon piece of gear show up here. And just by coincidence, that is the Nikon D750. So you've got the Canon 24 to 70, 70 to 200, 5D Mark III, 5D Mark IV, the a Sony A7S II, and so on down the list. And you don't see Nikon in there. It's all Canon, mostly Canon, with a few Sonys. And you don't get a Nikon thrown in until number 16, which is the D750. Then we don't have any more Nikons. The rest is Sony, a Sennheiser mic, and some more Canon lenses. So I'm curious to see what you guys think of this. Um, does this reflect, in your opinions, where sales are at? Because I've seen many sites uh, giving the Nikon D850 gear of the year. So is it just that the D850 hasn't been out long enough? Will next year we see the D850 at the top of this list? Is this a sign that Nikon is really nowhere near as popular as it used to be? It used to be that, you know, you had Canon and Nikon. And they were pretty much at the top lately for a while anyways. Canon's had the edge. There was a time, I think, when Nikon did. But is this indicative of these sales rentals that Nikon is really lost ground? Because to have one position out of the top 20 rentals, and the bulk of these really are Canon. Um, we've got a few Sonys uh, thrown in. I'll put the link below. You can check it out uh, on the site. But very interesting that um, there's only one Nikon. And I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say. What do you think? Is this reflective of a, of a big problem for Nikon? Is this just more of what we've been seeing in Nikon financial problems and sales problems? Um, is it not reflective of anything is it just happens to be one rental place and what they happen to rent out um, I think there can be some some stuff extrapolated from this data because the fact that it is mostly canon lines up with canon being still to this day despite leaving out a lot of stuff and not not being as progressive as say Sony or Panasonic um, and even Nikon and some other stuff um, the top selling name in photography gear so perhaps that's the base thing is because they do sell the most. This is a lot of lenses being rented. And then people also that have lower Canon bodies want to rent higher bodies to try them out or to use them for work with the rest of their Canon gear. Got a lot of Sony in here. Actually, I shouldn't say a lot. We've got one, two, three, four, four Sonys. So, and, and one of those is just a battery. So uh, really dominated by Canon. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Um, and... You know, anything to do with this? What do you think this means? What doesn't it mean? Leave in the comments below. I'd just be curious to hear if, uh, if you guys found this as interesting as I did um, and what you thought of it. Thanks for tuning in. Looking forward to reading your comments. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.